that's really important. And again, it goes back to this fear. The reason it, should, it shouldn't be a given that you're going to meet your target, that you're going to meet your BHAG, is that that chance of failure is what's going to keep you motivated. It's what's going to keep you on point, and it's, going, it's, it's what's going to keep you the best of, like, the best of your game. Now, there are many reasons why different organizations set BHAGs, and I think that there are two interconnected reasons why a lot of charities set BHAGs. And those reasons are that one, if you ever plateau, if you get to a point where you're coming into work every single day and it's kind of the same thing, business as usual, setting a BHAG, and we'll go through all the steps, is a great way of kind of galvanizing your organization. It's a great way of injecting a new sense of urgency, new blood, new energy into your organization. The second reason, it's when a standard fundraising campaign just won't cut it. You know, many of you are probably <coughs> veterans of, of great fundraising campaigns. And a BHAG is when you need to go just beyond the fundraising. Obviously, fundraising is the cornerstone of all of it, but it's really, you set up BHAG when the ambi your ambitions, the ambitions of your organization, what you're trying to achieve needs to be as grand as an and, as, and, as, and as big as the social problems that you're all trying to tackle. During the course of the presentation, we're going to go through six slides, all kind of touching upon different characteristics of the BHAG. But before we do that, we're going to watch a little video. Can everybody in the back see? We're going to watch a video that really kind of it's probably, arguably, tell me if you disagree, Richard, the best example of a BHAG. 